Now to more news right here at four. Homicides are up 84% compared to this day five years ago, and non-fatal shootings are down 10% from last year. It's information anyone can track on the new Metro Gun Violence Dashboard just released today. Ian Hardwit and photojournalist Jessica Farley heard from city officials about the new tools and its developer. Behind every one of these dots, behind every one of these numbers and graphs on the page is a real person, is a real story, is a real family that's been negatively impacted by gun violence. The city's new gun violence dashboard shows where and when Louisville citizens become victims of violence. It takes LMPD data and makes it easier for the public to understand. And so now the community has that information that we've had and they have it at their fingertips. Dr. Ivan Benitez has been with the city full time since last December, gathering police department data from 2010 till now. It's his job to interpret gun violence information. That's what policymakers and metro offices use to influence their decision making. Once I had the aggregate list of homicides, non-fatal shootings, we, we knew what exactly we were working with, right? So uh, after that, it was more of organizing the data in a fashionable way that could be presented publicly, but also anonymously when it comes to victims of gun violence. The dashboard's an easily accessible tool community groups can use to plan their responses to violence. Paul Callanan, director for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods, says it helps pinpoint when certain crimes are most likely to occur so they can schedule staff accordingly. For example, our community violence intervention partners can use the information to determine the most effective and efficient staffing patterns when implementing violence interruption strategies. We are currently sitting at 140 homicides. That's the same number we had this time last year, a statistic easily found on the dashboard. As for the lives lost and the lives changed by violence, the Office for Safe and Healthy Neighborhoods hopes that the data will show where helping hands are needed most in Louisville's communities. I'm Ian Hardwit in downtown Louisville, WHAS 11, on your side. That dashboard will be updated daily. We have a link to it for you on WHAS11.com.